Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am finally getting down to continuing on with the roll quest. So we are going to be going on with the, shall we say, magical quest line, Hollow Pursuits. Sarig is eyeing you inquisitively. Let me guess, you're standing in front of Sarig, a bounty hunter non parallel because you have a mind to aid me in felling the dread Phronesis. Do I have the right of it, or do I have the right of it? You have the right of it. Willing to throw caution to the wind and strike off to do battle with a nigh indomitable foe, eh? I've got the feeling the two of us will get along just fine. Allow me to elaborate. Phronesis isn't just your run-of-the-mill stray sin eater. He's one of the nastiest the realm has seen, formed from the remains of one of those God's damned warriors of light. There are four of them, all told, crawled up from the bowels of the deepest hell after being buried for nigh on a century, if the tales are true. People have come to call them the Cardinal Virtues. Before he was transformed into a sin eater, Phronesis was none other than the Archmagus Nailbird, whose baleful magics were feared the realm over. Though it's only been a few short years since he first showed up in Anne Meringue, he's already preyed on far too many innocents with his foul sorcery. Not keen on seeing their trade routes disrupted, the local merchants have placed a healthy bounty on his head. Of course, I like nothing more than to fell this fiend single-handedly and claim the entire bounty for myself. Unfortunately, circumstances have dictated that I recruit a companion. That's where you come in. Provided that you can prove to me that you pass the rather, uh, specialized set of skills that I require, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Not a bad offer, wouldn't you say? If you fancy yourself up to the task, come find me and end the ring. I made the set offer there shortly. Sounds like fun. Though I can't say I'm I'm happy about going up against nail birds. I mean I feel so bad for them. Being remembered as in such a bad way when they tried so hard to save this world. That's just sad. But we'll go and see him. And we just tell ourselves that we're just going to help him rest in peace. That's all we can do. And I think we came at a bad time, like right in the middle of a sandstorm. So you came. It's good to see someone who isn't all talk. As fortune would have it, another sin eater, a far less imposing specimen than Phronesis, of course, has been sighted just to the west of here. Prove to me you have the skill to back up your words, and we'll talk further. Okay, so we gotta go and hunt down another sin eater first. There he is. Senator isn't far from here. I can feel it. Track it down and let's see what you're capable of. Forgiven coward. Okay, that was easy. Good show, friend. I wasn't sure what to expect from you, but seeing you in battle has left me with little doubt. Seems I found myself a formidable ally. 
and so I'll extend the offer in earnest. Help me hunt down Phronesis, and we'll split the bounty down the middle. Well, what do you say? That's a spirit. Now there's more you should know before we proceed. Come with me to Morsuk, my base of operations, and I'll fill you in on the details. So, this first quest is just going to be an introduction to our new partner here, and just a basic idea of what type of Sin Eater we're going to be after, and what he's been up to since, you know, he became a Sin Eater. Welcome to more Sook, friend. As you can see, it's a bustling trading post frequented by merchants from across the realm. At least it was before Phronesius showed up and started preying on unwitting travelers. Hence the bounty you see. The lucrative reward has attracted the attention of one capable bounty hunter after the next. Yet the fiend still roams free. You can probably imagine why. Those few who have seen Phronesius and return to tell the tale speak of the great horrors they witness cavernous black holes materializing out of thin air, swallowing everything around them into the abyss. People have taken to calling them the Hollows. Rumor has it that only one barely has time to lay eyes on Phronesis before he summons forth the Hollows, which proceed to consume everything in sight. And I do mean everything. Just the other day, an entire caravan was devoured by the Hollows, leaving only nothingness behind. Mages have postulated that these holes are literally tears in the fabric of our reality. Gateways to other worlds, to put it another way. At any rate, suffice it to say that the next man to come back from the void will be the first. And yet, there's something odd about it all. Witnesses say that Phronesis doesn't seem to go out of his way to prey on people or settlements. He simply scrambles across the way, summoning hollows one after the next and the destruction follows as a matter of course. Needless to say, drawing too near to the fiend is tantamount to suicide. Even attacks from afar have been all but futile, as Phronesia simply summons the hollows to consume every incoming arrow. With every conceivable mean of attack foiled, even the most savvy bounty hunter has all but thrown up their hands, even though the bounty now stands at some nine or tenfold the original amount. I am of a different mind, however. The way I see it, if only there was a way to neutralize the Hollows, we more than stand a chance against Phronethius himself. That is why I require your services. Your easy triumph over the Sin Eater spoke clear. You are a mage of no common skill. If anyone has the arcane knowledge and aptitude to help me figure out a way to defend against the Hollows, it's you. Don't worry, I fully intend to shoulder my share of the burden and so I plan to gather all the information we need before asking you to put yourself in harm's way. And with that, I best get to work. Once I've formulated a proper plan of attack, we'll talk again. Until then, I suggest you continue to hone your casting skills. The battle that awaits us will not be an easy one. So there's the first quest line done! And it's off to a pretty interesting start, I guess we should say. So the next quest is called A Voice from the Void. Ooh, sounds cool. Anyway, we will call it there for now, and I will be seeing you all back here once I level up a little bit more. So, until then, bye bye